Hi everybody, Lori here for Simon Says Stamp. Thank you so much for joining me today. I've got a citrusy, lemon zesty project to share with you using products from the newest Dream Big release. I'm going to start with this background cling. It's called Talavera Vine. She's gorgeous. I'm going to mount this on my big old Misty. And so when I pull out my Misty, the first thing I'm going to do is take out that foam insert. And the base of my Misty is already pretty sticky from previous projects. So I mount that background cling on the Misty door. I have a panel of white cardstock. And since that base is already sticky enough, I just press down and there you have your white cardstock centered, ready to ink up. I'm using a combination of Tide Pool and Tropic. These are some delicious, positively saturated inks that stamp like butter. So I'm doing a bit of a two-tone here. I ink up the top with Tide Pool and the bottom with Tropic. And then I go back in with the Tide Pool to kind of smooth it out. And I use a little stamp press tool thingamajiggy here to get good, even coverage. It's, you know, when you're trying to cover a lot of area, a little stamp and press tool helps. You can see along the bottom of my panel there, I missed some. So I'm gonna go back in with that Tropic, go a little bit lower, and then back on the top with that Tide Pool. Now, a lot of people might be concerned, am I contaminating my Tide Pool ink pad by dipping it into that Tropic ink? Well, you know what my answer to that is? I've been doing this for so many years, the two-tone inking. By the way, this time I pulled out Aegean, which is the next shade darkest in that trio of colors. So I really wanted to bring the depth into the bottom. So we've got Aegean, Tropic, and Tide Pool. And I have not found in all the years that I've been doing this that the contamination is an issue. So that's how I feel about it. I think it's worth it for the look. Now we're moving on to the zesty part of the show. Pulling out the lemon zest die set. And then I'm trying out this new, very, very low tack tape to hold down my dies while I run them through the die cutting machine. I'm just using some various shades of solid color cardstock. These are all Simon's Stamp cardstocks. And I can tell you, I've been using the easy C tape, but I'm testing out that very, very low tack tape. And I gotta tell you, I like it. I like it a lot, actually. I'm going to do one more leaf in a lighter shade of green. I just kind of feel like those two-tone leaves really bring it to life. So there's this little shadow that you adhere onto the side of the lemon, and it really adds a little dimension. I just put a little bit of Barely Arts glue on the back, pop on that shadow. You definitely don't have to add the shadow. If you want to add a little ink blending, you could do it that way, too. And now there's a lot of different ways you can orientate these, all these dies. I'm just kind of going from the gut here. Um, I glued on that little bit of a branch or twig. I don't know what it is. Okay. And then here, I'm just, let me just tell you what. I have a long standing love affair with lemons. Years ago, and I'm talking 25 years ago when I was just coming out of college, I painted a lemon tree. Let me show you. So I got Charlie, my son, to uh, hold this outside. We were running out of good daylight. But there's the old lemon tree. She's an old painting. And next to him is good old Hank the Tank. I thought you'd get a kick out of it. Now, Charlie, you can tell he's very amused. <laughs> that lemon tree painting has been sitting on our piano in the living room. But the living room was getting dark. So I couldn't get a good photo. So I said, Charlie, will you hold this for me outside? And he did. Not with a smile, but he did it. Okay, so I went ahead and die cut an extra leaf. You know how they say uh, rule of thirds? It just felt like I needed three. And then I did the little lemon blossom there out of white cardstock. I trimmed down that viney background, popping it up on a, an ivory card base. And then of course I pop up the lemon because dimension is life. And then I ripped off that blossom that I had glued down and I decided pop it up. You know, it's all about dimension. Okay, now for a sentiment, I pull out another new stamp set. This is called The Big and Bold. I'm going to do the Miss You. It just kind of fit right in that little sweet spot area that I had on the lemon card. Um, so I'm stamping this with Versafine Onyx Black Ink. And then I'll use the coordinating dies. And again, I'm using that very, very low tech tape. Listen, you got to try it. I'm telling you. You won't be disappointed. Okay, again, more foam tape on the back of the sentiment. And I'm going to nestle it. Like I said, there's a little 
little sweet spot right there for a sentiment. Now to finish it off, some of these new little sequins that came out in the Dream Big release, there's Sunflower Fields and the colors, it was like it was meant to be. So there you have a citrusy Talavera Vine Miss You project that you could customize for many different occasions. I'm sending you some zesty hugs today. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for joining me. Have a wonderful day and I will see you next time.